so welcome to another video on MATLAB tutorial video lecture series today in this video we are going to deal with one of the very unique solution to the problem which frequently arises when you are dealing with large data set so when you are dealing with large data set are you tired of duplicate values in your data set are you manually exploring the data and deleting the duplicate data right so if you want to clean your errors or list with just one line of code this video is for you now let me introduce to you one of the matlab's most useful function the name of the function is unique unique is a built-in matlab function used to find and return only the unique elements in the arrays cell arrays or tables this is a must have tool when you are cleaning the data or analyzing the patterns in the data so first of all let me start with the simple example showing how to use unique function in a numeric array so let's say this is our numeric array a now here we have multiple duplicates right so what do we do unique of a and now let's run this section so the answer of this a is one two three four five six but here basically the original a is one two two three four 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 five five six so what does this function does this removes duplicates and gives us the unique values in sorted order and this is what do we wanted and one more thing not only this unique can also returns the index position of unique values and this is really important now let me show you that now here what this does this b is the array of unique values which will be this one then this i a is the index of first occurrence of each unique value in a in this matrix and this ic will be an indexed array used to reconstruct a from this b right so once we have got this unique values and now from this unique values and from this ic if we want to reconstruct this a that also we can do so now what we'll do we'll suppress this and we'll run this segment so the output of b is 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is the same as the previous one now this ia this 1 2 4 5 8 and 10 what does this indicate these are the positions in a where the unique values are first occurred see here it is 1 so 1 is a unique value and that is first occurred at position number 1 then 2 is unique value first occurred at position number 2 then 2 is repeated again so it is the third position now this is 3 which is unique value and it is first occurred at position number 4 so this ia matrix indicates the position in a where the unique value occurs for very first time and now we'll check of i c so this is a mapping from a to b basically this ic tells us which value in b correspond to each element in a so the first value in b correspond to first value in a second value in b corresponds to second value in b now here you see this third shows two that means the second value in b which is this one and this corresponds to the third position in a so likewise for entire matrix so now if we wish to reconstruct a from b that we can do let me give you a simple example reconstructed a so we'll write b of i c and now let's run so this array is 1 2 2 3 4 4 4 5 5 6 which is the same as a so this is how you can also reconstruct the matrix 
now for time being let's comment it and go for another thing now this function is not only useful for numeric data this is useful for even other formats of data type also let's take another example here we'll place varieties of name and now if we want to remove the duplicates from this unique of names and let's run this thing so we have only unique names let's comment it and now we'll give you a very unique example here we are going to create a table now this is a table data type right let's run this thing and this is our table id and group now if we want to find unique from this table that also we can do unique of t and let's run so we have the unique results only but now here let me modify one thing let's comment it here instead of one two and one now let's make it three and run now here in id we have all three unique numbers but in group we have two duplicates and now in this condition what happens if we run this unique it will not remove it it will consider it as a unique response but now in this table data type what if you want to just check unique in this column only in this group only so that can be done by modifying some things over here now here we'll take t of all the rows and second column and now we'll run this section so now here you can see it has removed the duplicates from this column only so like this there are varieties of use case possible for this unique function let me give you one of the real life use case of this function let's say you have varieties of census data or survey responses you just run this unique function to clean all the duplicates before analyzing or plotting your graph and this will reduce your headache a lot so in short unique is simple powerful and super practical whether you are working with numbers text or table it's a must learn function in matlab and that is what we have learned in this session so if you have found this session useful give it a like subscribe for more matlab tutorials and drop your comments below with the function you want to learn the next so see you into the next video of matlab tutorial till that time bye bye